start thank you thanks a lot now so first is what is database understanding database is very important it is a storage place for the data that are collected from the application or through other sources ultimately it is a information storage part because any information without a storage it is not available to people for analysis for transactions everywhere data plays an important role so the database is nothing but a collection place then what are all the other places to store our data the we also called file system objects memory objects so these are all the other places available for storage example you are writing a word document and you are storing it in a hard disk that is called file system objects you are making the when you load word document it is getting loaded into the memory in memory it is storing that information as an object so then in such situations it is also a storage place but this places is not structured or when i talk about database and the storage data in other location the difference here you can see it is a next topic why database and not other method of storage you can build a structure to the database maintainability is much easier you can avoid concurrency issues at the time of replication and security management reporting ultimately all this data is are used for reports analysis without analysis i cannot improve my business so any business we need history we need information trend all this can be managed only if there is a structure to the data the way we collect the information that is why database takes an important place in the market what are all the types of database available so the types of database we call it as a conventional database storing the information in hard disk this is what we call it as a conventional database like oracle ms sql mysql db2 all this comes under conventional database recent trend is all about in memory database that means i don't get into an hard disk i will keep the entire database in the memory it is like a word document loaded to the memory and you work here the word document through memory in the same way the database entire database is stored on to the memory in this case you have to ensure you cannot shut down the system the system has to be 24 by 7 online in such cases you can use memory database volt db velocity online transaction is the expansion of volt volt db amazon dynamic dynamo db these are all some of the in memory database that is available in market today this is the current trend and if time permits volt db is basically a linux environment if time permits i will show you that as well so that you understand what it is all about so these are all the types of database available one is conventional database another is in memory database in memory is the same word then what is testing database how it is different from your normal application testing uh, before i get into that how many people or testers raise your hand just raise your hand just to understand the type of people attending the session thank you how many people are very new to this database feel free to raise your hand 
good there are quite few fine now is it possible there is a question asked is it possible to load the whole database in memory in current trend 64 GB memory or uh, 50 GB memory is not at all a problem when I say 60 GB or uh, 64 GB we are talking about uh, huge data I don't know how to explain it because you cannot see my myself or you can say in a room of 20 by 20 you stack up all books complete papers stacked up in a 20 by 20 room it takes almost 1 GB of memory that's all so millions millions of record is possible in memory as well why people opt for uh, old TV it is purely a technical information it's basically when I take an hard disk, hard disk when I access data from hard disk, the speed of the hard disk or the speed at which I retrieve the data from hard disk is much much lower than the speed at which I retrieve the data from memory. I hope you understand this. The speed of hard disk is maybe 6000 RPM revolutions per minute and one revolution I can retrieve around 32 byte or 64 byte according to what is the configuration you have 64 uh, bit system 128 bit system 32 bit system accordingly it varies at one revolution I can only refresh that much of a data if I deal with the memory I can retrieve at much faster rate because I am dealing with uh, gigahertz of processor. If I say 3.1 gigahertz divided by 2, approximately 1.55 gigahertz speed at which I can retrieve the data. So that is the difference between the old DB and the conventional DB. Right? So this there is one person says we will have millions of records so it is not possible right that is what everybody has thought now these people old db or dynamo amazon dynamo they are all felt that when i am able to load a word into my memory why can't i load the entire db onto the memory and it is success as on date because the online transactions are heavier today. Every time I cannot go to the hard disk and then come back to take the transaction. So because of that it becomes a trend today and it becomes a need of the work especially on the banking domain, share market where there are some huge transactions that is taking place. That is why online transaction processing and online analytical processing two or two different entities online transaction property uh, transaction processing you can see volt db kind of a in memory database is of very important in nature whereas online analytical is not possible through in memory database where there are processing involved i will explain it as we go so i will move on what is database testing or testing a database? It is all about to ensure the value shown on the application UI or in reports are the real data that are stored in the database tables. A database consists of multiple tables where you store the information. So to ensure the value that are retrieved or stored or as we did operation or as we calculated. To ensure the analytics done by the application or other tools or using the current information that are stored. So any information that you see it in the report in terms of a calculation, in terms of any analytics done on that data. It is based on the information that is available in the database. 
there is a question again is VoltDB a separate software like Oracle or it is like a framework VoltDB itself is a DB it doesn't go into hard disk it is created in the memory and working in the memory so you may be wondering what happens if you shut down the machine or take, they take the snapshot of the image the snapshot of the image is stored in multiple locations again all will be in the memory it doesn't get into the database hard disk at all it is resides in the memory you treat memory itself as a hard disk you just imagine in that way, then you will get a better understanding. So, VoltDB uses a separate framework. It ensures that the tables are resides in the memory itself. That is what in-memory database. Right? Now, how important to know about database testing? In current scenario, since the maturity level of application and the people who are using the internet applications are so high it becomes important for testing community to ensure the data used by developer are right this is to make sure what I store what I collect is what I store and most of the applications are dealing with transactions that involves financial transaction. Since it involves financial transactions, the data accuracy plays an important role. Unless the data that I collect is right, I cannot get the right information. So most of the financial transactions are today part of internet application. I hope you all aware of that and you are all doing the transaction through online. Right? So database testing is checking the value in DB that is a question asked. Of course it is about checking the content or informations in the DB and with what I compare with the data I expect to have it is either coming from UI or it comes from some calculations and that is what I used to see I show, I show you uh, since we have various projects I show you several implications on data how the structure is what are all the importance as we go in most of the domain banking insurance manufacturing industry etc does all calculation using system information stored over a period this is about planning planning budgeting all this happens from the informations that are stored in the database you might be I don't know how many are aware of share market if you go to moneycontrol.com you see lot of several graphs running through those are all called real-time graphs those graphs are coming from information stored in the database. In share market is one of the major industry which uses the analytics because it is all about the analytics and trend. And in these are all called analytics, OLAP, online transaction, online application processing, sorry, analytic processing. In under above conditions, it is important for testing community to ensure the correctness of the information provided or used by the system. So DB becomes a very important role. Without DB, there is no testers. Without DB, there is no developers. So somewhere I need to store, whether it is an inline, in memory or it is a conventional DB, I need to store the information that I collect. If I have to store, I need a structure called DB. And this DB, knowing about DB is an important part for the entire testing community. If you have any questions, you can add those questions to the questionnaire so that I can answer those questions. I hope you are all familiar with GoToWebinar, the menu structure. So if you have any questions on that as well, you can type in, right? This is 
what the database testing and this is why it is important for the database to be known to the all users or all users community in fact even a non-technical guy has to understand what this database is all about because we are all talking about uh, information that are being transacted in the online so there is a question asked if I insert the incorrect data in DB itself then in future I get incorrect analysis result that is fact and that is what you have a properties called asset I explained that as I get into database structure design so in this case how can it ensure correctness you cannot ensure correctness I need to ensure the data is whenever I push the data I need to ensure it conforms to my requirement can DB also crashes like a hard disk it is like when a DB crashes or a data crashes again it comes on confirm as a properties of as it as it is a properties used for database structural design when I explain that you will get that answer to that how to test the offline database stored in MS access whether it is offline or online if you are in the same network for example I am in a LAN connected in the network or in another sense for example you can see now the MS SQL in my screen and this MS SQL is resides in my laptop I need any I don't need any online connection to manage this for example I have so many database that I manage this database are residing in my system I don't require a connectivity for this so in that sense it is not much of an importance to whether you are an online or you are offline. So this is how it is.